Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series, where I preview and predict every college basketball conference tournament. Now up is the America East Tournament, which begins today, Saturday, February 27th, as they'll be calling the first round pod play for whatever reason that is. So without further ado, here we go. First game today, 1 o'clock Eastern, number 6 seeded UMass Lowell against number 7 seeded Stony Brook. Games being played at New Hampshire. UMass Lowell 8 and 11 on the year, 7 8 in conference play. Stony Brook 9 and 13 on the year, 7 and 9 in conference play. I project this Stony Brook by a half point, total 136 and a half. So therefore, I'd have Stony Brook advancing to the next round. Next up, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Number 9, Binghamton at number 4, Hartford. Hartford on the year, 11 and 8, 8 and 6 in conference play. Binghamton, 4 and 13 on the year, 4 and 10. In conference play, I project this Hartford by 8, total 132 and a half. So therefore, I take Hartford to win. And in the last game of the pod play for today is this evening at 5 o'clock, number 8 seeded NJIT. I guess number 5 seeded Albany. Game will be played at Hartford as NJIT. I have, they got a 7 11 record, 6 and 10 in conference play. And Albany, 6 and 8 in conference play, and 6 and 6 in conference play. My projection is Albany 2 total, 137 and a half. So therefore, I have Albany advancing. Quarterfinals. My projected matchup is number seven seed Stony Brook against number three seed in New Hampshire. My line would be New Hampshire by four and a half, therefore New Hampshire to the semifinals. And then number five Albany against number four Hartford. I would have Hartford by one and a half. Hartford therefore would advance semifinals. Number four seeded Hartford versus one seeded UMBC. UMBC on the season fourteen and five overall ten and four. In conference play, I would project UMBC by 7.5 over Hartford, so therefore UMBC to the championship game. And number three seeded New Hampshire against number two seeded Vermont. Vermont 10 and 4 on the year and 10 and 4 in conference play. My line here Vermont by 4, therefore Vermont to the championship. And then number two seeded Vermont against number one seeded UMBC. The two best teams easily in this conference this season. My projected line here is Vermont by a half. And I have Vermont into the NCAA tournament. John Becker is a really good coach. Steph Smith is one of the best players in the conference. So give me Vermont to advance to the 2021 NCAA tournament. And very quickly... Since I did not do a daily podcast since it's Saturday, I'm going to give you guys a bonus. Give you guys gambling picks for these games. So Stony Brook is a one-point underdog. The UMass Lyle totals 135.5. So I'm going to take Stony Brook plus the one or whatever the money line is. Binghamton and Hartford. Hartford's favorite by 6.5. Totals 132.5. This is a tough one for me because... Obviously, um, totals identical. It's less than two points of differential. I wouldn't necessarily bet it because of how narrow it is, but I'd lay it with Hartford. And then NJIT Albany. I have to pull up ESPN for this one because NJIT is obviously in the state of New Jersey. So I have to pull up that one. And it is. Albany by five. So I'm going to take NJIT plus the two points. 
Alrighty, so my picks for the quarterfinals you can very well find on my Twitter at Madison Mills twenty eight. Once those lines, I'll come out assuming that those are the teams that wind up advancing into the quarterfinals. Next up, the Big South tournament predictions. <laughs> 